Hello, Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian at the Pflugerville Public Library. And during this time of library closure and program postponements and cancellations, we've been bringing you additional content to hopefully help you pass the time while you've been at home. Uh, so I've actually got some crafts that folks will be able to do, hopefully with stuff they can find right around the house. Uh, Crafty Cafe is a program that we do on the third Sunday of every month at 2 p.m. Um, anyone 12 and up is welcome to attend. We have a craft and there is a Keurig uh, for beverages to make it a cafe. So for these purposes, you'll have to provide your own beverage, but we're hoping to provide everyone with some crafty at home cafe. Uh, so we've got some crafts for you to try and hopefully have the things around the house. So this craft is a rope bowl that we've done at Crafty Cafe before. This is the one I have here at home. Um, we used some uh, upholstery piping, but you could really do this with any um, rope or even create rope by using strips of material or t-shirt material to make your own rope. I've seen this done with braided. Um, for this one, I have some more upholstery piping that I had left over. This is a larger uh, quarter inch that we didn't end up using. Um, for this craft, you need only a few basic things, um, a glue gun and some glue sticks. Um, if you would like, you can use um, paint and paint brushes, and then you'll need something um, to use as the base form, uh, something like a bowl. Um, in this particular instance, I'm actually gonna use a tin that I've got here at home because the rope is a little bit bigger. So you'll actually start from the bottom of your bowl, take one end of the rope that you're using, uh, decide about how much you want your bottom to be, and then you'll just basically fold it over. Um, so I'm gonna take just a short line of hot glue right down the middle of the piping, and I'm gonna fold that over so that it is the beginning and then I'm just going to start wrapping um, this low I am going to go ahead and put a line of glue for each piece that I wrap around um, with hot glue you'll want to let it cool for just a little bit uh, before you start going around again and I'm not really doing too much glue on the ends Maybe occasionally a little dot, mostly glue along the edge. And we're just gonna continue that way. With your base, this one I'm gonna have a really wide base and lower sides. Get to the final um, wrap around. Just continuing to put a thin bead of glue in the middle of the rope and then bringing the rope around. All right, Just a little bit farther. Here we are. So now I've got the base and now I'm gonna start moving up the sides and around. That little bit of glue cool. So rather than being directly in the middle, of the rope where I've been placing my bead of glue. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it closer to the top here of the rope. And then that will begin to move around the edge of my base form. this point you'll have to hold a little bit longer to allow the glue to cool and hold before you move on to the next piece. Now that I've got the base done I'm not going to be using my um, form anymore. This one is actually going to be a fairly uh, low profile tray more than a bowl. Um, so I'm at the point where I am laying the line of glue right along the top middle of the rope and then laying the piping right on top of it. And I'm going to continue around as I go, laying gently. At this point I don't have to wait quite as long, um, although while the glue is still a little bit warm, 
I can kind of mold the shape a little bit more. Continuing. As you can tell, I don't make the straightest line of glue always, but that's the great thing about crafting. Um, it's not always going to be, nor does it have to be perfect. All right, almost to the end of my rope. And one last line. A little shorter. And just kind of make sure that my glue doesn't extend beyond the piping. All right. And something this size, I could definitely put um, on top of a dresser or for um, use for keys. And I would definitely be adding some paint as a to decorate this a little bit more. Um, but that's a quick tutorial on a rope bowl or even a rope tray like that. Thanks for watching.